Hello and welcome to another Fruit Loops Films. In this video, I will be taking part in the Bear Grylls Adventure Shark Experience. The Bear Grylls Adventure has lots of different activities available in it for you to try and is situated on the NEC site in Birmingham. Both internally and externally, it is well themed. You can book activities either online or once you're there and they're given a time slot for your activities. On entry, go to reception and there they will book you in for your activities and validate your parking token so it costs you a lot less to park. Entry for those not taking part in any activities is free. You cannot take any camera gear or any of your own diving gear into the water with you but people can film from outside for you and the crew that you go around with have a camera and then you can buy film and photographs from them afterwards, albeit not quite so good quality. The videos I purchased I've included at the end of this. When it's time for your experience, you go up for a briefing and to sign documentation, a health declaration and a waiver form. They take you through the basics of the scuba diving uh, techniques that you will need for this experience. You do not need to be a qualified scuba diver and this can count as part of your Discover scuba diving um, qualifications and also um, as a reactivate for those who need to, who are already qualified but have had some time between their dives. You are then asked to shower for 15 minutes to ensure you've got no products or anything that on your body that could contaminate the water and then get into the scuba gear that they provide for you, so wetsuit, booties, uh, mask. They then take you through to a training pool and help you if you need it to get into your BCD and um, use your regulators. You then do a couple of skills under the water just to check that you're okay with breathing from the regulator and taking this out and swapping it for somebody else's if you should need to and clearing your mask underwater. Once you've done that, it's time to go into the main shark tank and have a walk round. No fins are worn by any of the visitors and all you do is walk round. The whole experience takes approximately two hours but you're actually in the water walking around for about 25 minutes, half an hour. In the tank there are numerous black tipped reef sharks and there is one lemon shark and one zebra shark. There was also a mermaid's purse uh, which contained a baby shark waiting to be hatched. To view my experience of diving with black tipped reef sharks in St Kitts, uh, please look at one of my other videos. Sink Kits Scuba Dive video number one.
few minutes to get everybody settled into the water and comfortable with the, the gear and then you start walking around. One of the dive masters walks around backwards in front of you and the other dive master swims behind just to check everyone's okay. There is a set route that you walk around and you walk around this twice, stopping occasionally to take photographs and for the dive masters to point out various different fish and things to you. fish were breeding. These are the fish with the crescent shaped tails there, the one that looked black on the screen right now. And they were attacking people's feet as they walked by, not in the sense to hurt you, but just to warn you away from the area that they were breeding. They were doing this both to the visitors and to the dive masters. Watch out for the funny little dance that we all do at times, just to make sure we're not stepping on them.
the caged area to the top right of the screen that you can see there is where they stand people who are doing the snorkeling experience so you're kept in behind the bars there and it's very shallow and um, it's just deep enough to pop your head under if you want to and from there you can see into the aquarium and the different fish and the sharks When you're used to swimming with all this gear on, walking around can be quite odd and indeed quite difficult at times. Around this corner, hidden from view from those who were looking through the window, there was a puffer fish and a giant grouper that just seemed to want to sit on the bottom of the, the tank there and didn't want to move. We had to move around him rather than the other way around.
part way through the dive and again towards the end we went into a little sort of sheltered area around the back and I actually had some almost nose to nose experiences with a couple of the sharks as they were quite inquisitive at back there while not being watched by the general public. After the dive we had to once again shower and then hand back all the gear that we had borrowed. We then went for a debrief and had our documents signed and a little chat with the two dive masters afterwards. One of the dive masters showed me one of the sharks swimming into one of the pump jets, um, enjoying it a bit like uh, swimming on a treadmill. And the other dive master gave me a shark's tooth that he'd picked up from in the tank whilst we were going round. These last few clips are the clips from the videos that they sold to us after we had finished the experience. These were taken on the Dive Master's camera and as you can see the, the quality is not great but it was the only footage that we could get of actually being in the water. If you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I've got. Some are to do with diving and snorkeling, some of cruising and some are general holiday experiences 
or days out, or check out my other channel, A Very English Craft Room, with lots of craft ideas. <laughs>